For us as pastors, our ministry is not in these walls. It's got to be outside. When I came here, the neighborhood was, was incredibly dangerous. There was a complete disconnect between the church and the neighborhood. The neighborhood didn't even recognize that this was a church anymore. And so that first step is to take a step, and it's got to be outside the building. The second is give your fears to God. And before you know it, you're beginning to befriend people that Jesus befriended. As I walked the neighborhood, that's what I was told over and over, is the kids have nowhere to go. Now, five years ago when I got here, uh, the kids were the ones that were beating down the door of their cars in the parking lot once they got to know us. And I'd wondered five years ago what a children's church would look like, you know, if you just completely opened a church to kids. And I would go to, to friends who were children's pastors, and they would get excited, and their eyes would get big. And uh, they'd say, that's a great idea. And i said, well, what's it look like? And their response was, I don't know. And I couldn't wrap my head around it either. But as we went along, it became more and more evident that, that maybe there was some merit to that. I think this, this transcends children's ministry. I think it transcends youth ministry. I ask people all the time, if you're gonna change the world, why not start where you're at? And I think we're creating a new generation of disciples here that truly could change the church and change the world.